Hi there, this is Crystal and I am going to take this weekend to work on a project of painting this old table that I have. I've had it for 25 years, big huge decision to go ahead and paint it. So I'm going to be using the color Fusion Champlain. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a thorough cleaning using a Method Wood Cleaner and I'm going to give it a really good clean up. So once you have given it a thorough cleaning, then you get your husband to sand it. Okay, so now that you've gone ahead and had a, given it a light sanding, you want to go ahead and remove all of the particles from sanding. Okay, so you can see I changed, so I hope you like my ensemble. I always find it so funny when people are painting and they wear beautiful things. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a prepping agent. This is Fusion Ultra Grip, and I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, just go ahead and put a layer of that on this product so that our paint will adhere to it much quicker. Okay, so let's go ahead and let this dry for about an hour. Okay, so now that this is dry, I'm going to, I'm going for a look that is not neat. I'm looking for sort of an antique uh, look with my product and I do have lots of crevices. So I'm hoping to accentuate those by uh, adding some beeswax. Now I got this where I get my paint from and all of my products from Mango Unclaimed in Whitby, Ontario. So I'll just get, you, get a really good look at this. So this is beeswax and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rub it on all of the edges of the table and uh, later on hopefully it'll make it a little bit easier for me to sand because I do want all of these uh, lovely edges and curves to come out. You want to make sure that you don't leave like these little pieces of wax and try to clean it up without actually removing it. So we'll give that a quick cleanup. Okay, so now we're ready to paint. I got rid of all of the little loose bits from that wax. So again, the paint's going to be called Fusion Champlain. I've actually tried it on another product, it worked out quite well. And I also have this awesome paintbrush. So I know sometimes videos say that you must use a certain type of paintbrush and it seems silly and you try other types, but I really must say that this type of paintbrush is really, really ideal for what we're gonna go ahead and do. So I'm just gonna start with the bottom. And again, all of this was from Mango and Clean. So let's give it a start. some vinegar and some uh, soap and um, I'd actually prefer to have new handles on here but it's a pandemic right now all stores are closed so we'll have to make do. Okay so the table's finished and now we're going to add some antiquing. I've tried a little bit here. Um, I'm going to use a combination of my mouse sander and you have to be very very careful with it and also some very very light grit uh, sandpaper but black is not good. So I'm just going to start at the back, which I've already done, so that that way you can get a little bit of a feel for it. And the idea is you're going to accentuate the curves.
into those really tight areas. So I'm going to use a very little small piece of sandpaper to try to get it a little bit closer. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a look at what I've done here. You have to be careful not to go too crazy or it can become a mess. But the idea is to find anywhere where there's a curve and where I couldn't get in with the mouse, I was able to get in with the regular sandpaper. Now you'll notice that there is an edge on the top. I'm not gonna do that till the very last with light sandpaper because I don't want to, I wanna take my time to do that and uh, not use the mouse for that one because it's pretty important and I don't do anything on the surface. So there you go, that's how you will go ahead and antique it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put a clear top coat on just the top of the surface so that we can, meaning just the top of the table, so that we can try to make it as, as durable as possible. So I'm gonna use this Rust-Oleum clear top coat and of course my favorite brush. Okay, so I'm just gonna give a little, light sand and make sure that there is no dust particles on there. Okay, I just want to show you the top coat as it's drying. One important thing I forgot to mention is to be sure that you don't stop or start with your brush and you go directly off the edge. So you're gonna go right from one edge to the other and right off and start in a very straight pattern. Otherwise you'll have stop and start brush marks. So let's go ahead and let that dry probably for about two hours. So I just want you to see the sheen on the top of this table after it has dried. You can see in the light, and that's why it's so important to keep those breast strokes straight. And um, I guess it's possible you could find a top coat with less sheen to it, but uh, I quite like this. So there you have it, the finished product. So I hope you enjoyed my little video, my first time ever doing a video. Um, first, I have to correct something. Earlier, I mentioned that I got my supplies from a place in Whitby, Ontario called Mango Unclaimed. It's actually Mango Reclaimed. Uh, that being said, you can purchase your paint from Fusion. I believe they have their own website. I'll try to post it as a link on the bottom. And I hope you like what I did and thank you for watching. Um, at this time during pandemic, I'm trying to do things that will keep me busy and keep me at home. So I hope the same that you can find something that makes you happy and keeps you at home as well and stay safe.